I've said in our fiscal rules, we've been consistent on this, there is a case for capital spending within the overall uh, budget and uh, uh, in this parliament the Chancellor's rules, ours in the past, were to say consistent with the national debt falling you could have some borrowing for investment but I've right. also said very clearly to my party in our manifesto there will be no plans for additional spending on infrastructure paid for by extra borrowing because at right. the moment with these deficit figures so big the priority has got to be get the current budget into surplus and the national debt falling. We're going to look at every pound. But, what but you will just we know before the election where the cuts will come? I've said to you today and very clearly no promises which can't be paid for, no one's funded spending commitments, no borrowing for capital spending in our manifesto, no spending unless the taxes are raised to pay for it uh, 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 or the spending is cut to pay for it. That's a really distinctive approach from Labour compared to the irresponsibility of unfunded promises left, right and centre. That seems to be the Tory way now.